My brain is hurting. <laughs> hey, hey, hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. I just came across one of the most mind-twisting questions I've heard in a while. People say that money cannot buy happiness. But can you ever be truly happy without any money? Ow! <laughs> so, this is a very common statement. Money can't buy happiness. That's a very common statement. But that question gets me thinking... Can somebody be happy without any money? Like, just completely poor, broke, and living on the road? Well, yeah, actually. Now, is it a feasible way to be happy? No, absolutely not. Because, I mean, it kind of gets... Dis the being out in either cold, like, really cold or really hot weather, because every place has one or the other at some point brings on a line of depressing thoughts if you're always in it because it brings on a line of stress and yet some of the people that I've met who do end up in that predicament actually still end up very happy maybe it's because they're used to it or maybe they find, I don't know, they find their happiness while in that state. Which would make a lot of sense when you think about it, because a lot of people don't find their true joy or happiness until they're put through the worst. And they've made it through all that. Or at least the worst that they can bear. Again, with the question, can you can you ever buy tr truly be happy without any money? Well, again, yeah, and no. What I just said was the yes side of it, but there still is a no side of it. The yes side of it is that you experience the worst, and you end up finding that happiness nigh the end of that experience. But the flip side of this coin is that when you go through that experience, you're kind of stuck in it. Because a lot of people who go through a point in time in their lives where they don't gain any money, it's extensive, unless you act on it. Uh, but by the time you act on it, you have money, so that kind of becomes irrelevant. But if you just put yourself stuck in that situation, you end up reaching out, begging. And that's not being happy. That's distraught. Whether subconsciously or not, that is still being distraught. That's still feeling distraught. And it's... it's I don't know. It's something interesting. And for those who do have money, whether a lot, like the butt ton, um... Like... And I'm not saying the people who I'm about to list are people who are happy or not. They're just examples that first come to my mind. Like Steve Jobs, who has an extreme amount of money. Or the other side of that. Like me, who has a little bit over enough to survive. I'm happy as a lark. On that front. Like, I'm not perfectly happy, but the things that I'm not, not happy enough... Ha, ha, the things that make me unhappy have nothing to do with money whatsoever. And if they do, it's very minimal. And then, there's... Those who are happy. Just because you have money doesn't particularly mean you'll have a happy life. And just because you don't have money doesn't mean you're going to not be happy. Now, of course, that doesn't mean the opposites ever. It's just not going to apply. There are many people out there 
who have no money and are distraught. And there are people who have an ass ton of money and are just happy with that and usually generally have the mindset of money does buy happiness. Now, there, again, there are people out there who think that way. I'm not one of them. I'm, as I said earlier, the kind of person who does have enough money to get by and enough to save up it. Plus, maybe get myself something every now and then. But that's just me. I'm not other people, so I wouldn't know. In any case, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um... Or what do you guys believe I should say for this one? Money can't buy happiness. Do you, do you believe that money can buy happiness? If not, do you believe you can truly be happy without money? Two individual questions for one video to you. I know. But they were two that I had to answer as well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you liked my response to this, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you have a suggestion for a philosophical type of question that I could uh, respond to, let me know in the comments below, as well. Or if you want to check out any of the stuff that I've done live prior to this, whether it's me talking about random topics like a discussion and rant type video or me talk kind of talking about myself as a whole click the links on the sides of my head and once again if you really like this stuff please consider subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell because i upload this kind of content whether again about me or discussion and rant once every day however in the meantime i'm gonna head off but I hope to catch you guys in another video. Bye for now.